Time to meet another South Florida survivor. Sean Swarner is an outdoorsy guy. He likes to run, to swim, to climb, and he does it all working with only one functioning lung. And as CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana shows you, he pushes his body to new heights with a mission of spreading hope. Sean Swarner knows what it's like to be on top of the world, but his climb to the highest point on earth was sometimes filled with painful lows. As a teenager, he battled cancer twice. First time was when I was 13, I had Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is basically a cancer of the lymph system from head to toe. And, and as a 13-year-old eighth grader, they gave me a, uh, three months to live. He beat cancer that time, only to face a different, more aggressive form of the disease three years later. As a 16-year-old, 14 days to live. And I was diagnosed with something called Askin sarcoma, which is a small cell tumor. Um, for me, it affected my uh, right lung. Sean says he was read his last rites and spent a year in a coma, but ultimately shocked doctors when he survived with just one functioning lung. It's tough. I, I tell people all the time, you know, you take, you take a breath, I have to breathe twice to, to make up for the fact that you have two lungs and I only have one, but a lot of it's right here. You know, a lot of it's mental. And what I do before I even begin something, I picture myself successful. I picture myself at the end and work backwards. Sean says he pictured himself here at the top of Mount Everest. And in 2002, more than a decade after his first diagnosis, he made it to the summit. It's, it's kind of like, you know, take every emotion you've ever had, put it into a tiny little rubber bouncy ball and just explode it all at once. I climbed Everest to give people hope. You know, I, I wanted to be the first cancer survivor to climb the highest point in the world and use Mount Everest as a 29,000 foot, foot platform to scream hope. But Everest isn't enough. Sean has completed what's called the seven summits, meaning he's climbed the highest mountains on all seven continents. He's also an Ironman World Championship finisher. And earlier this month, he ran the Wings for Life World Run right here in South Florida to help raise money for victims of spinal cord injuries and give hope to those in the fight of their lives. You know, I went through some really rough times in my life, but understanding those rough times are going to pass and understand that things do get better. The human body can live for roughly 30 days without food. The human condition can sustain itself for about three days without water, but no human alive can live for more than 30 seconds without hope. You know, I think that's what we're doing. We're giving people hope. Sean has written a series of ebooks to help give others a nice dose of inspiration. The first is called Everest Being Unstoppable. He's also taking a group of cancer climbers up Mount Kilimanjaro this summer. Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.